Hello promising learners. In this module, we will talk about the thought process and the decisions of Anne Frank about her diary writing. In the last module, we discussed the background of the chapter from the diary of Anne Frank. It is an extract taken from the diary of a young girl. Anne Frank's views on diary writing. She considers diary writing to be a strange experience. She gives two reasons for this. First, she has never written anything before. Second, she thinks that neither she nor anyone else would be interested in the thoughts of a young girl of 13 years. Then also, she decides to pen down her thoughts. What? makes her to take such decision is to ease her anxiety. It was her inner compulsion to write. One day when she was quite depressed, she just recalled the saying, paper has more patience than people. And then she kept on thinking about this thought and finally concluded that it was indeed right. She decided that she would let only her true friend to read her stiff bagged notebook. Stiff bagged notebook is used for her diary. So she decided to write her diary and only her true friend would read it. Though she did not have any true friend, that's why it may not be possible. What prompted her or inspired her to write diary? Then she talks about a few reasons over here why was she prompted to write diary. She doesn't have any true friend, the very first thing, the reason she records over there. Then she says that the absence of true friend in her life. So that's why she is looking for somebody to whom she can confide, with whom she can share her secrets. She has a happy family and almost 30 people whom she could call friends over there. Happy family means father, mother, elder sister and almost 30 people are there whom she could call friends. Then also she feels alone. She says a 13 year old girl is all alone in the world because she misses her true friend. She doesn't have any. She can talk only about ordinary things when she is there with her friends. She doesn't talk. She never talks about. She cannot share intimate secrets with anyone. She is introvert. And she cannot share intimate secrets. That's why she accepts that her reserved nature prevents her from having any close friend. And then she decides to write a diary. Because very soon her nature is not likely to change. Her long-awaited friend. She wanted to have a true friend in her life and her long-awaited friend is Kitty. Who is this? It's her diary. She names her diary Kitty. She, did not, she doesn't take diary as a diary and object. She takes it as a friend. She decides not to write straight away. If she, had, uh, she could have started writing diary straight away or with only facts. So that could not make it a friend. So she says that instead of writing facts over there as other people do write, she would just confide whatever she wants to confide, whatever she wants to share with her friend. With personal things that she wants to share with friend, that she would share with Kitty her diary. That's why she gives a brief sketch of her family. She talks about her father and she writes over there the most adorable father I have ever seen. And the way she writes that he didn't marry my mother until he was 36 and she was 25. This was a way a 13 year old child wrote in her diary. Expressive way. My sister Margot, then she talks about Margot, was 
born in Frankfurt in Germany in 1926 and she was born on 12 June 1929 so 3 years older mago was to and frank she lived in frankfurt until she was 4 so she, and she was staying in frankfurt and her father emigrated to holland in 1933 and her mother edith hollander frank she also went with him to holland in september margo and she that and frank they were sent to aachen it's a city in germany so they were sent to aachen to stay with her grandmother margo went to holland in december and in february and also reached holland so this description she gives in her in the beginning of the diary so this is a brief sketch of about her family then she talks about her school also she started her schooling at the montessori nursery school and she stayed there until she was 6 and she was in first form by that time and when in the sixth form her teacher was cuperus they were very much attached with each other the bond was that strong that when she was leaving school so they both the teacher mrs cuperus and and frank they both gave a very tearful farewell to each other then she talks about grandma's illness and her departure in the summer of 1941 grandma fell ill and had to have an operation and unfortunately she died in january 1942 she often thinks of her and this was not known to others hardly people knew about it at home that she often thought about her she starts writing her diary from june 20 1942 as it is mentioned in your book so the story that we are going to take up that she has written in her diary addressing it to dearest kitty we will do in the next module till then up to page number 51 i wish you to read thank you students and do oral comprehension check questions that are five in number on page number 51 thank you students have a good day